Today, I'm going to show you five secret websites guaranteed to get you traffic super fast and put tons of money in your pocket. And in light of all the recent changes on Google with the helpful content update and AI changes that are happening daily, these are some websites that will actually help you get traffic overnight. And what we're going to do to achieve this is look at the data. Because you see, Google is like a little race. You have people trying to get ahead. Some do really good with each update. Some do really bad. Some fall behind. And the ones that really make it get lots of traffic and lots of money. And the websites we're going to look at today that are going to help you get traffic, even if you don't own your own website, are going to make it super easy for you to get ahead. One of the websites we're going to look at gained over 14 million visitors a month. The second one, over 31 million visitors a month. The third one gained over 132 million visitors a month. Another one, 40 million. And the last one we're going to look at actually saw a decline of almost 8 million visitors a month. However, it's important to note that even with a decline in traffic, you can still use this site to make tons of money. Because the idea to get ahead here is to utilize websites that are already doing well in Google. And since the last update, we saw a spike in what's known as UGC, or User Generated Content. This boosted up sites like Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, and other websites that rely on the public for their content. And since we know that ranking for the right keyword on Google can make tons and tons and tons of money, well, I think this is a video you're going to want to pay close attention to. Because what we're going to talk about is how to set up a strategy utilizing websites that are already doing good and point them to whatever it is you're trying to get traffic to. Whether it's an affiliate offer, your website, blog, a video, a print-on-demand store, Etsy, you name it, what I'm about to show you is guaranteed to get you traffic. But first, I want to talk to you about something very important. And that is the value of an opportunity. Back in about 2006, when I was starting to get lots of traffic from the search engines for free utilizing Google, I found out that oftentimes things changed. One day, you might have a ranking, making a bunch of money, and the next day, poof, it's gone overnight. And this happened to one of my sites where we had tons of rankings, we were making all kinds of money, and all of a sudden, the traffic dropped. And I started to freak out, saying, well, where'd my traffic go? Why can't I make money anymore? And at that time, we had just purchased a house in California, which wasn't cheap in 2006. I had two kids and a wife to feed. I was pretty shaken up, but my vision was very narrow. You see, I was focused on what I wasn't getting rather than what's out there already. And a lot of people think this way. They're more focused on what they can't get versus what's already out there. And maybe you're like that. Maybe you look at things and you wonder why you're not getting ahead. And the fact isn't that everything's against you and it doesn't work. It's that you're not focused on the right thing. You see, whether I like it or not, 5 million searches a minute are done on Google. Whether I'm on vacation, whether I retire, yeah, that doesn't matter. Because those searches are still going to happen. And I remember one day when I was running a website about smiley faces and cursors and music players and all different things like that. We had landed a spot on one of the most prestigious trafficked websites of the time. And now I could have complained and said, well, that traffic isn't directly going to my website, but I was able to make a lot of money having a listing on someone else's website. And I realized right then and there something that I had read years before. And that is that the wealthy are not interested in owning stuff. They're more interested in controlling it. I mean, let's face it. Google doesn't own all the websites on planet Earth. They just control the flow of traffic, which makes them one of the biggest companies in the world today. And it's much like if you were driving on the freeway. If you were out there and you were trying to get somewhere, 
but you didn't have any money for gas and your car kind of sucked and it wouldn't start, much like my first car, and you had to have this guy and his fancy race car tow you, does it really matter how you get from point A to point B? Or does it just matter that you got there? For me, it's much more important that I arrive at my destination than the manner in which I got there. And this is a lot like search engine ranking. Everyone thinks that they need to have their own site and they need their own stuff. When in actuality, some of these sites will provide you tons and tons of traffic at the drop of a hat. But we need to be careful in understanding the rules and guidelines of some of these sites, which is actually pretty simple. And we need to remember that the average person trying to make money online makes nothing. And we also need to understand that there's lots of money online and there are quite a few people doing this type of stuff for a living. So if you're excited to see the five websites that'll get you traffic super fast and how to use them to the best of the ability to get the most exposure possible, then smash that like button. Let's dive in the computer and I'll show you exactly how this whole thing works. Now, some of the websites we're gonna look at are gonna seem very obvious and you might be thinking, well, Marcus, I already know that one exists. Tell me something new. But what we're gonna do is look at them in a very different way that's gonna help you get traffic and make money with affiliate offers and your own business and different things like that. Now, it's very important that we look at each one of these separate because each of these is gonna have a different way to monetize and get people back to you. And it's not always going to be one size fits all. Now, the first site we're gonna look at here, which I'm sure you've heard of before, is none other than reddit.com. We can see here that since the last Google update, Reddit gained almost 4 million different keywords in Google and over 28 million visitors a month for a traffic value boost of almost $14 million. And that's the estimated traffic. What they're making on it is probably a lot more. So you got to take that with a grain of salt. But what we're looking at here is what did they gain in? What did Google think that Reddit was more important now than it was a couple of months ago? And if we were to go through here and look at the keywords that it ranks for, you can see that it's got some powerhouses. One, it is ranking for the word chat GPT right here with over 10.8 million searches a month. And you bet your bottom dollar, if you had a ranking for the word chat GPT, you would be making some serious money right now. And of course, with Reddit, it is a little bit different. If you were gonna go through and do some promotion, you can do like the self-promotion thread. However, I think you can probably go through and do like some of these people where they're posting little tips and tricks with ChatGPT and then maybe link to the prompt or have a little watermark that says, get more prompts over here or something like that. Or there's some other people that just link to their other post on Reddit. So they're gonna go through and have something like this one here where he's talking about how to use ChatGPT and then he links to his own Reddit that takes you to his Reddit page where now he can go through and talk about different things and show different examples and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Now, Reddit is one of the most difficult ones to do promotion on. However, it can be done. What you wanna do is do soft promotion rather than trying to be like, hey, click my affiliate link and make money. What you're gonna do is you're gonna build a following and then take that following somewhere else once they get to know you, like you, trust you, and enjoy the content that you're putting out. And if you were to go over here and type in a keyword that triggers something that might be monetizable, we can go through and maybe look something up like price. People looking up the price of different things and talking about the price of different products. We could see here, cookie crumble prices, Pilates prices, Tesla price, and all different kinds of things that people are looking up the price of that Reddit is actually ranking for. We could see something here like does Lowe's price match. This is an interesting term and we could see you got lows, lows, and then number three is Reddit. And actually you can see that there's a whole thing about price matching. And it's interesting to note that some of these people are actually posting different links, which leads me to believe you can probably post some affiliate links as well, or maybe even links to your own website talking about how you can get price matching at different stores and things like that. It's actually very easy and it doesn't look like they're having too much of a problem with people putting links. 
Again, make sure you check the terms and conditions of each thread on Reddit because they're all going to be different. But the idea here is, well, we can actually rank a Reddit post for different keywords that make lots of money. Like this one here, when will car prices drop? Car prices, Honda Accord price, and we could see there's all kinds of stuff about car prices. And if we were to search, when will car prices drop, we could see Edmunds, KBB, Yahoo, or even Toyota RAV4 2023 price. We could see here, it has all kinds of information. And then of course, we have Reddit. And they're actually asking, is this considered a good price for a RAV4? They have a little screenshot and different things like that. And then they're going through and talking about this different kinds of stuff. And what you could do is talk about how you save money on cars or what better deals are or something like that. And again, oftentimes you can go through and link to things that actually help these people save money. And the better way to do it would be to actually make your own Reddit and eventually drive people there. You would have something like the car price guy or something like that, and you would just help people with car stuff all day long, and eventually you would build up your following, which then on your own page, you can link them to the stuff that makes you money. And we could see here that it doesn't just stop at prices. We can go through and say something like maybe repair. What do people want to repair and what does Reddit rank for? And again, this isn't limited to just things that Reddit ranks for now. You can actually use Reddit to get your own rankings for your own post or your own thread. And then you call the shots and have your own rules, which is really cool. We could see here Nintendo Switch repair cost, credit repair. Here's people looking up credit repair, which is a very expensive market. Car repair, countertop repair. And all of these lead to affiliate programs that make lots of money. We'll talk about those in just a minute. But first, I want you to understand exactly how these sites work and how Reddit is playing into the mix. Because we see with this Google update that they are valuing Reddit big time in saying that, yes, it is about these different keywords. Windshield Repair Austin, normally you would just have a bunch of local SEO, which we do here. But then we are seeing that Yelp and Reddit is showing up in the mix, which is interesting because Yelp isn't really about that topic. But it does seem that they are having different communities go on, like this one is about Austin. And of course, they're going through and talking about all the different things there. And we could see that this guy even posted his favorite place, which who knows, maybe he owns it. We don't know, but it's something that can work really, really well. And if you're able to link to your website, it'll provide a backlink that'll boost you up in the search engine rankings. Now let's take a look at website number two that's going to help you get tons of traffic. And that is none other than Quora. Quora is again, a very good website, much like Reddit, where it's user generated content. You can post things, you can share stuff, and it ranks for all kinds of things. We can see here that it got a gain of about 3.7 million visitors a month, 3.7 million keywords, and the traffic went up over 40 million visitors a month, boosting it over $10 million a month in the extra search traffic. Now, if we were to go here and look at the keywords that Quora ranks for, we could see again, we have chat GPT login, some stuff we don't want to show. And if we were to go to the keyword here and type something in like review, you could see that Quora has lots of stuff that people are wanting to review. Flutterwave reviews, Mint Mobile review, AliExpress reviews, and on and on we go. And we could see that a lot of these have tons and tons of traffic. Now again, Quora, the idea is to build up your following. So you would go through and maybe do reviews on different products in the cell phone category or the car category or whatever it is you're going for and then build up your group. Or you can do like this here where they are actually linking to news articles. Only the news article would be on your own website or even your own press release. You have to get a little bit creative about how you're gonna use these. And like I mentioned earlier, if you can link to a press release in your Quora, that's still getting people to your affiliate offers and things like that. It's just using one extra barrier of entry. And a lot of times these sites will be okay with different news sites and things like that. Like we can see here, they got little mint mobile stuff, 
something here, PC Mag, T-Mobile, and all different kinds of links within this post here. And I could see here that this guy, Best Deals, he's probably doing this kind of thing. I don't know how well he's doing, but he is using links, and he is doing pretty good with it. And the key, again, is going to be to go through and actually create good content. And one of the ways we can do that is just going over to your favorite keyword tool, type something in like review if you want some of the review traffic out there, since review sites were one of the biggest hit by the latest Google update, we can go through and find something that has a pretty low competition, right like this, skinny fit reviews. You can actually go over here to Quora and see if it ranks for the term, right like this, and we could see it ranks number 22 for Skinny Fit Reviews Reddit. So if we can make a really, really good post about this, then we might be able to do really well. And we could see here on Quora, this post is not necessarily just about Skinny Fit Reviews. It looks like it's more about gym trainers and different things like that. So if I posted something about the specific keyword that we're looking for, my chances of ranking are going to go up exponentially. And again, we're seeing here a lot of people are utilizing different infographics and things like that, which you could watermark with your links and, and, different, and different things to drive people back to your website. And of course, we can always use the linking method as long as the link is helping them out. We can see here, this guy is saying, hey, I got some more information on my personal blog, and he links to his personal blog. So it's definitely something to take a look at. And since it's ranking for all different kinds of keywords, all we need to do is write about the topic in a real world way and actually provide good information. Maybe talk about the reviews you've seen other places or maybe do this on a product you've actually tried and get involved in the community in a way that they're actually gonna like what you have to say. Now, again, Reddit and Quora are some of the most strict sites when it comes to linking. We're gonna take a look at some others that are gonna be a lot easier. And one of those is utilizing Pinterest. We can see here that Pinterest gained over 4.6 million different keywords since the Google update and almost 132 million visitors a month, boosting its traffic value from like 90 million to over $100 million a month. Now, if we were to go through and take a look at the keywords that this ranks for, we could see anything from Baby Yoda memes to Mother's Day gift ideas, and on and on we go. And if we want to find some commercial intent type keywords, we can go through and again do something like reviews, find the different reviews, because I noticed that Pinterest and Reddit and Quora are really, really boosting up in the rankings for reviews. And we could see here there's something like some kind of hose review. Hey, that thing gets like 17,000 searches a month. You got Meta Boost reviews, Glucofort, some kind of makeup reviews, Java Burn, and on and on we go. And as you can see here, this one for Glucofort, all you would need to do is check out the product. You can see it's over here on OfferVault, and it's paying like over $100 a sale, which means you can make some pretty good money. Now again, make sure that the offer is good, ethical, and actually does what it's supposed to do. But we could see here that these people are just making different pins about the different products. This is something literally anyone can do. And the key is going to be choosing the right keyword and tackling something that maybe doesn't yet exist. I probably wouldn't go and do Glucofort reviews. However, I might be able to take something like Relaxium Sleep Reviews and see if this has any rankings on Pinterest. And it looks like it doesn't. So my chances of ranking for that just skyrocketed. And it's all about finding the gaps. And doing this, you're going to have to do a little bit of work, but these sites do provide lots and lots and lots of traffic for free. And Pinterest is good because they actually allow you to link to your affiliate offer or website or whatever it is you want up here in the description and down here on the little button. So getting traffic with Pinterest is absolutely amazing. In fact, I did a video a couple months ago about Pinterest and one of my students used it and is now getting almost 800,000 views a month. And all he's doing is following the strategy. 
Now again, he's one of the lucky ones. I haven't had a student get that much traffic on Pinterest except him, so the results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed, but you can see that it actually does work. And he's able to link to his site and get all kinds of traffic. It's actually very easy. But again, follow the rules and don't spam. Now the next website I wanted to take a look at is part of a bigger plan and that is outlookindia.com. A lot of people have talked about this website with the Google updates and changes and everything like that because they're actually dropping in traffic, which begs the question, are press releases a thing of the past? And the answer is an emphatic no, because it actually still does have 15 million visitors coming from Google and 3.2 million keywords. And we can see here it's got everything from movie website to, to different reviews, and on and on we go. Now, press releases are super easy because literally all you need to do is submit a press release and you can link it to whatever you want. And sometimes these press release sites are free, sometimes they cost money, so if you're gonna pay to do a press release, make sure that you do it with the right topic so you get lots of traffic. If you're gonna use some of the free press release sites, well then focus on getting the right keyword and post a good piece of content. And we could see here if we were to do keyword and do something like reviews, it still does have quite a bit of rankings. Here's one for Cortex reviews, and we can see it's got over 22,000 searches a month, and this is actually ranking number one, right here like this. And you could see with press release websites, we have lots of chances to link to our sites and get lots and lots of traffic. And there are people that utilize the press release method, and there are tons of people that utilize the press release method to get lots of traffic and make lots of money. It's actually very simple, and you can see here that a lot of these pages are actually news sites, and they are getting the rankings. We can see they rank here for vshred reviews, which I believe is a ClickBank product. And here they are right here and right here. And just to show you that it does get traffic, here's someone with a review video getting over 92,000 searches and the video is only three months old. Metaboost reviews and on and on we go. Again, it's important to do a really good job if you're talking about a review, do an honest review. Maybe go get the product, test it out, see how it works and give an honest review. Or at bare minimum, maybe go look at the other reviews, compile them, use an AI program to decipher what's going on, what people like, what they don't like, and then write something really good about what the product's about. And we could see here that press releases work like crazy. In fact, I went ahead and asked ChatGPT to find me the top 10 press release websites. I put those into the batch analysis tool and we could see that lots of them are still getting tons and tons and tons of search engine, of search engine rankings. In fact, the one I use, prweb.com, is still ranking for all different kinds of keywords that get lots and lots of traffic. I'll put a link to my press release and Pinterest video in the description below. And last but not least, the hidden diamond in the rough website that'll get you tons of free traffic that lots of people aren't even talking about is, drum roll please, LinkedIn. LinkedIn, since the last Google update, got over 723,000 new keywords and over 14 million new visitors each and every month from Google search traffic. And again, if we were to take a look at some of the keywords it ranks for, you can go through and see that they have some heavy hitters. If we did something like mortgage, you can see that they rank for all kinds of different terms related to mortgage, which is one of the most competitive markets on planet Earth. However, they are getting tons of traffic for different types of mortgages. We can also go through and see that again with the review example, because a lot of affiliates like to do reviews because it's kind of like the lowest hanging fruit on the affiliate ladder, because literally all you have to do is review a product, get a sale. Yeah, it's pretty easy. And if we were to type in reviews right like this, you can see that much like the other sites, LinkedIn is getting millions and millions and millions of visitors each and every month from different reviews and products and company reviews and all different things like that. In fact, we can see here Scribby reviews is showing a review for a different transcription type job, which is interesting. And we can see here they are linking out 
They got all kinds of info. Here's some kind of affiliate boot camp they're linking to. And on and on we go. And all they're doing is utilizing the power of these sites to get the rankings. And pay close attention to this. We can see here that on LinkedIn, there's about 190,000 keywords ranking with the word reviews in it. And if we were to go over here to Ahrefs and just type in reviews, right like this, we can see that the word reviews has over 8.7 million different keywords ripe for the picking. See what I'm getting at there? Yeah, you can use these sites to get a lot of traffic. But again, this is a super powerful method. Please use it ethically, focus on following the rules, do good stuff, always have an affiliate disclaimer, be honest with your reviews, smash a like button, and make sure you check the videos in the description to learn more about how to get free traffic and promote affiliate offers in a snap.